Mimi ni president wa hili bunge kwa majina na ni Mr. Robert Makoha Wangoho. Eh for the few members ambao hawajakuwa na sisi kwa muda hapa. Nime realize kuna kitu hawaelewi kidogo tu niwakumbushe. Sababu watu wa Kenya kwanza wakiongea hapa naona ni kama wanaambiwa we unaongea vibaya. Niwajulishe kwamba huwa tunawaruhusu ndugu zetu wa vyama zingine pia watoe maoni yao. Watu wa opposition pia tunatoa maoni ye, maoni yetu. Kwa sababu mtu wa UDA ako hapa pia analala njaa. Mtu wa Azimio pia analala njaa. Tuko pamoja. Sasa mtu wa UDA akiongea msianze kumrushia maneno mkimwambia ati yeye hafai kuongea. Hapa kama uko na jambo unakuja hapa unaambia chairman unabeba mkono, unapewa nafasi unatoa maoni yako. Kama we ni wa UDA unaruhusiwa kuongea. Kama we ni wa Kenya kwa na ya mimi azimio la umoja unaruhusiwa kuongea tuko pamoja tuko hapa kisheria na ndio maana unaona tunaanza kwa maombi hapa Asante sana Now it is time for the president to give out his uh, views Allow me to travel very fast to Siaya County You all understand that there were wrangles in Siaya County government There is uh, this issue of the deputy uh, governor his name is Odwar and yesterday if you watch the news that eight out of that nine MCS of Siaya County government voted to oust or to remove or to impeach the deputy governor Bwana Odwar immediately after the impeachment Senator Nanti by the name uh, Samson Charagay posted and said that they were not going to impeach the deputy governor because you understand constitutionally after the county uh, county government has impeached the governor or the deputy there will be that time that they will be meeting the senate senators are going to have a sitting with the impeached deputy governor so if Cheregay is one of the senators who is supposed to vet this deputy governor and listen to the reasons as why he was impeached but is the first one to say that they are not going to impeach him even after or even before listening to the reasons why he was impeached that shows that Kenya Kwanza people are not following the constitution. Wezi sema kwamba hamuta muimbich bila kusikiza kwa nini alikuwa impeached. Mimi zamani nilidhani ukiwa na kichwa kubwa unafikiria vizuri sana. But that man is carrying a big head for nothing. You cannot tell us that you are not going to impeach him. What if he is corrupt? What if he is not supporting the governor? That is a rape to the Kenyan constitution and we are not going to allow that. Another issue. Another issue is about the finance bill. By yesterday the public participation was closed. And there were about 150 entities that had actually engaged in vetting of the bill. Out of 150 One that aid had said no they had rejected the finance bill 2023 now if president ruto is a friend of the constitution of kenya why is he still forcing people to have their 3% deducted atutaki kuwa ruled na kifua huo ni utoto Tulifichapata independence in the year 1963. Right now, hatutatishwa na mute yote. Therefore, President Ruto, leave the work you are doing, the work of buying and forcing MPs to pass the bill that is not in the constitution of the citizens of Kenya. And finally, kuna kiti na itua National Land Commission of Kenya the NLC sisi tulikuwa tunaambia nyinyi msipigie huyu mtu kura 
kwa sababu yeye na mashamba ni kitu moja ako na tamaa kubwa sana ya mashamba right now as i'm talking ameshanyang'anya mamlaka national land commission nlc why do you think amewanyang'anya mamlaka amewanyang'anya mamlaka ili awanyang'anye the right to determine the value of land wewe ukitaka kuuza land leo hii na akuru utaanza kuambiwa bei yenye haitakikani na ukienda kwa maofisi huko utapata ruta alishawapigia kura watafuata maagizo yake hutasaidika vile inawezekana ama inatakikana na ndio maana amewanyang'anya mamlaka that is a rep to our constitution yeye kama president he is the symbol of the national unity he is the symbol of the national unity therefore afai kuingilia mashirika ambayo amepeana kazi wafanyie wa Kenya wetu tuko pamoja so maongezi iliyokuepo kati ya azimio na Kenya kwanza imefaili kwa kuendelea that is to mean it is a signal to us tukue tayari kwenda maandamano kama azimio lida ataitisha ata maandamano Kenya yetu tuko pamoja Raila Odinga anapigania mwananchi wa kawaida. Raila Odinga alishasema yeye ako na chakula ya kutosha nyumbani kwake. Yeye ako na magari hatembei kwa mguu. Lakini ukiona yeye amekataa finance bill ni kwa sababu yeye ana support mwananchi. Mapato yenye mwananchi anapata ni kidogo sana ukatwa tena na serikali ambayo alipigia kura. Tuko pamoja. Sasa William Ruto wewe ukisimama alafu na insight wanainji huko eh, Busia acha hamtaki watu wa base lipo wafanye nini wakatwe pesa hiyo ni mambo mbaya sana you cannot be the president and you are inciting the common wanainji i'm saying this president ni symbol of national unity tuko pamoja sasa yeye ni vibaya anasimama alafu ana insight wanainja anawaambia watu wa pesa lipo wakatwe pesa kwani ni dhambi kupata kazi yenye unalipwa kwa pesa lipo sio ni makosa sana mtu wa chini pia siku nyingine atakuwa kwa pesa lipo sasa ukiambia mtu wa chini atanyamaze mtu wa pesa lipo wakatwe 3% huo ni unyama na haitakikani tuko pamoja rais anakuanga rais wa watu wote akishapigiwa kura sasa ukikuja baadaye unaambia mtu mwenye hajaandikwa ati wewe nyamaza ati huyu wa payslip wacha yeye akatwe hiyo ni makosa sana na saa hiyo ameongeza 15% kwa advertisement ya mambo kama nywele mambo kama pombe sasa kajako akisimama akisema yeye alikuwa anakunywa pombe akaacha siacha hata sisi tukunywa tuache kwanza ndio aanze kusema hivyo kwa nini yeye wakati alikuwa anakunywa kama hajawacha kunywa pombe sisi tulikuwa tumenyamaza yeye saa hizi anaongeza tax kwa products ambazo ni za pombe wacha wananchi wakunywe kama hiyo ndio wataweza sababu unga umepandisha bei